Hi, thanks for tuning in to Thrive America. Uh, Thrive America, of course, is a, is a, is a video blog where uh, we're attracting uh, business owners um, that are thriving right now who, who can share their experience, strength, and hope, and, and consultants, uh, coaches, and, and, and folks like Alan who, who have a, a perspective uh, who, can, who can share their, their, their knowledge uh, with the rest of us who, um, who might be working in our business right now. And um, if, you, if you tune in to Thrive America, you might take a, take a break and work on your business. So uh, here we are with Alan, and if, if you can get a chance, go back and take a look at our prior segments. But uh, uh, we asked Alan to, um, to submit some talking points, and he uh, exceeded our expectations with 10 killer secrets in developing a uh, powerful business. So let's move on to, um, I think this is the 9 of 10 uh, that we're on, which is understanding uh, the business's revenue and profit model. Yeah, it, there's so many people that don't understand where their money's coming from. And what I'm suggesting here is that you, you understand how you make money through that and, and the areas like that. Mm -hmm. And what I would do is I would list them out. We make money from service, uh, providing service to our customer. We make money from licensing mm -hmm. our products and just list them out, all the different areas that you want, that you make money from. Mm -hmm. And I think you'll be surprised. Most people are very surprised on how they make money. And then also, once you do that, then what part of your revenues and your profits are determined by uh, what, what your, uh, uh, by the, how you make your money. Mm -hmm. And so do a pie thing and find out 30% is done by service. Mm -hmm. You know, 50% is done by licensing. Mm -hmm. And then determine yourself whether that's something that you want to continue, mm -hmm. you know, to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to finding out that first pie, then figure out in maybe two or three years where you want that pie to be. Mm -hmm. Do you want if you're currently at let's say 50% service, and uh, and um, maybe two years do you want service to be 70%, mm -hmm. and then start planning how you're going to get from one to the other, mm -hmm. you know, one area to the other. That, that's, that's, uh, um, are there, are there any, any books that you can recommend, uh, um, or other, uh, resources online that a young business owner or, or about to be a business owner can look, or even a current one, um, because it's a model, right? It's, it's a blueprint for success, kind of what you're referring to. Um, is that well, how you make your money, mm -hmm. but that, that's just... I, I'm not sure that, that that's a, as, as much of a blueprint for making money when, mm -hmm. when you're, uh, it's, it's how you make your money. Mm -hmm. You might want to go into some things that maybe aren't as, uh, makes you as much money, you mm -hmm. know, as possible, but it's, it's what you want as an organization mm -hmm. to go into and what your mission and your vision for the organization mm -hmm. is. So what I'm, I'm saying is that just understand where your revenues are coming from and where mm -hmm. your profits are. And two different things are two different things. Mm -hmm. You might make a lot of revenue from one thing and very little profit. Mm -hmm. And you might make a, a little revenue from something but a lot of profit on something. Mm -hmm. And maybe you want to go to where you make the most profit. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. That's one thing I learned very early on is mm -hmm. that uh, revenues and profits aren't are, are together at times mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it might be a, the cost to make that um, to, to make that revenue might be exceed what your um, or is certainly what your profit is. is. Is this something that the the whole management team should be made aware of? In other words, should you reveal to your team all the money that's coming in, how much money you're making, and how much this or that? Or? Absolutely, I'm a big one. Mm -hmm. I'm a big one on communicating the vision, mission, and value statement mm -hmm. uh, all the time to the to the to the group. I think that you need to reinforce that. Say, mm -hmm. hey, this is why we're here mm -hmm. all the time. We're mm -hmm. like I mentioned before, we're a hospital information technology company. This is what we're here for mm -hmm. to really improve the cost and efficiency of healthcare. Mm -hmm. How can we do that? Mm -hmm. Now look at the, look at the, the, that's our vision. You know, look at the, the different mission, the uh, uh, mission of how we do that and there's mm -hmm. different areas, things, things like that. So I think you're going back to the question. Yes, I, I think that you have to understand, you know, the, all those different areas mm -hmm. of how you make your money and there's going to be some loss centers, and, but maybe you have to, you have to, uh, uh, um, understand that and mm -hmm. you might you might take a loss 
like a, like in a hospital, blood banks and emergency rooms usually lose a lot of money. Mm -hmm. uh, but what they do is they put, uh, be a uh, what they are is a portal to the hospital, mm -hmm. so that then they can make it on the other side, and they have to make it up so that they're not more niche, there. more niche uh, yeah. expertise uh, uh, from a hospital's perspective, cancer and yes, things like that. Um, okay, we're at ten of ten here ah. uh, with uh, <laughs> the last one That's with great. Alan. Um, bittersweet here. Uh, the last one, uh, the last of the killer secrets is understanding your product and, and service offerings. Um, how uh, how does this um, how does this work uh, for you here? Yeah, the consultative sell. I, I like consultative selling, mm -hmm. and what that is is when you go in there and you listen. Too many people don't listen. That's one thing that you teach us in Prov all the time, <laughs> which is great. Listen to what your partner's saying, mm -hmm. and and to um, and and then once you listen and you understand what they're saying. And then take that and to understand how that fits into your product set and see how you can fit your product set to, so that your product set shows value to that customer. Understand what, what is keeping them up at night. Mm. And so that's a good question to ask, I think, is what is keeping you up at night mm -hmm. during this conversation? But you have a manager on the other side of the desk and they're telling you all kinds of things about, oh, here's my problems and things like that, and, and ask appropriate uh, leading, uh, not leading questions as much as understanding questions, but listen to them. Too many people talk about their products and services. I think you need to understand your products and services, don't get me wrong on that, but understand how your products and services can fit into what their problems are. And so that's where it comes in to be a consultant to them. I think uh, business development people and, and salespeople need to be more cons consultative. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, okay, I hear what you're saying. You're saying this is happening and this is my problem and I'm having a real problem with efficiency. This is how our products will uh, handle that situation mm -hmm. and cause you not to have as, as uh, show value to your organization that I can cut down 10 minutes of your, uh, uh, of your uh, employees' hour mm -hmm. by just having our product in there, which makes them more productive. And it probably would eliminate buyer's remorse if they're not getting a product shoved down their throat by, by someone who's not listening, who's talking, yeah. talking, talking, and so forth. Yeah, I'm not a big one. I, I, I'm, there's certain stages I, I do talk, but there, there's certain stages where, where you just want to listen. Mm -hmm. Sure. And just listen and understand what you're... What, what they're saying across the, mm -hmm. you know, from across the desk of what the problems mm -hmm. are. Because mm -hmm. that's, that's the real thing is that you're a problem solver as a salesperson mm -hmm. to me or a business development person. You're a problem solver. And, uh, and then understand your products and how they fit into that situation mm -hmm. and how you can solve and make, the, make yourself a hero mm -hmm. to that person. I have to clarify <laughs> that, uh, that Alan's talking a lot today, but, um, but we've asked him to share his expertise, but he is a, uh, a prodigy in the improv, uh, our improv world as, as an excellent student. You're, you're coming back Very to take another round. Yeah, I am coming back. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Um, all right, so let's kind of just kind of wrap things up now if we can. Um, Alan, thanks so much for coming oh, you're out. You're welcome.